So Adobe Match 2023 just happened, and while a lot of it was mostly focused on Photoshop, Illustrator, and Adobe Express, there were a couple of things in there that were actually quite interesting. There are a few Premiere updates. One is that Enhanced Audio is now built into the Essential Sound Panel with sliders on how much you want that to affect your audio, which is pretty neat. The second is that Premiere can now detect the filler words like um and ah uh in the Transcription tab, which makes it way easier to remove filler words out of the interviews. Let the robots do the work. But one session that piqued my interest was the sneak session. This session was aimed more at what Adobe was developing rather than what is currently available. And I gotta say, I'm pretty excited about some of the upcoming tools. It's pretty clear that Adobe is doubling down on all of its AI tools. And one of the more interesting tools was called Project Fast Fill. Here you can see the presenter masking out an area in the frame and removing people similar to generator fill in Photoshop. But much to the audience's surprise, he soon reveals that this is in fact a video and that the people were not only removed, but the rest of the video is tracked as well. Pretty amazing stuff. Okay, that was cool, but honestly not that complicated, but let's see what else it can do. In the same demo, we saw the presenter show a clip of a man walking down a set of stairs through changing lighting conditions. He then asked Firefly, the Adobe AI, to generate him a tie on the man and drew an area where he wanted the tie to appear. And much like Photoshop's generative fill, Firefly created a series of ties to choose from. The presenter picked one, and just like that, the tie was tracked into the shot taking into account the lighting conditions and how the tie deforms as the man moves down the stairs. And if that wasn't enough, we saw one more demo, but we have a coffee with latte art and the presenter wanted to use Firefly to change the latte art to something else. While using the Whizbang AI, he quickly replaced the latte art and even kept in the wobbling shakes of the coffee as it's moving. Crazy stuff, right? Hello. Hello, Nick. It's your famous musician friend, Ari Cool. Oh, hey, Harry, how goes the music business? Yeah, not bad, mate. I'm in a bit of a bind. My music label has pulled the funding for my music video, but they still want me to produce a lyric video. Otherwise, the label is going to drop me. You got time to make me one? Uh, when you need it, buddy. In an hour? In an hour? I'm sending you the track right now as we speak. But thanks, mate. You're a lifesaver. Oh. Siri, find out a way to make a lyric video fast. I found this awesome plugin for Premiere called the Lyric Video Creator Kit. 60 animated presets, built-in effects, custom textures, dynamically sizing backgrounds, and so much more, all contained in one handy essential graphics template, so you can always find it. Well, what do I got to lose? So mate, how'd you go? I think you're gonna be pretty happy. Okay, if that didn't blow your mind, how about this one? Another project they were working on was called Project Scene Change, where the presenter had a piece of footage set at one angle and then another piece of footage shot at a different angle. By using Firefly and some complicated maths, they managed to turn the second shot into a point cloud image and remap it at the right angle and also match the camera move of the first shot. While I think the result looks a little odd, the fact that you can reframe the angle of a piece of footage is truly astounding. Don't like the angle you shot because you were too low? No worries, just shift the shot and get a different angle. Actually, for all your nerds out there, there is a fancy new way to texture scenes in a realistic way called Gaussian splats. This technique is so good, this chap managed to use this technique to remap the opening scene from Inglorious Bastards and fly through the scene. Amazing stuff. This isn't Adobe related, I just wanted to share how cool this tech was. Anyway, the presenter went on to show similar demos with two completely different angles and scales, and Firefly did a pretty amazing job of pumping the two together, complete with shadow. Still a little rough, but again, this is version one of these tools, and it can only get better from here. Okay, your sock's not blown off yet? How about Project Dub Dub Dub, where you can not only redub any video you want and throw it into another language, but you can also redub it into your own voice. Currently, they support a ton of languages and more will be developed. And finally, they announced Project Reza, a tool that, you guessed it, 
is going to up-res all your footage similar to Topaz Gigapixel. There were a few more tidbits here and there, including wearables that change patterns, which I thought was pretty cool, and some text-to-video development similar to Runway ML. But the future looks pretty bright for Adobe. Sadly, no real updates for After Effects this max, but I heard you can natively import 3D models now, which I need to check out.